You might recognize me from my uh, video, but my day job is actually Chief Technology Officer for Ingram Micro Cloud. I have the privilege to lead a team that powers the world's largest ecosystem of cloud, built by the world's best platform, Cloud Blue. I lead a team of dedicated engineers, product management, product marketing, and ISV recruiting folks who are hyper smart, hyper active, work at hyper speed, and are actually pretty hyper fun to work with, too. I have a very simple philosophy when it comes to designing technology. Design, 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 then build. Because with a great design, you can build great technology. This means that 75% of what we spend our time doing is talking to our customers, our field sales, our partners, the industry, looking at future trends. And from that, we're able to create solutions that actually bring business value to our customers and partners. We're, we're past digital transformation now. Now it's about hyperscale. There's three pillars to our strategy. Access to an infinite ecosystem. This means we want to automate and orchestrate and monetize over 200 ISVs in over 45 countries, 47, we just keep rolling out, uh, in our, with our leading APS technology. That stands for Application Packaging Standard, which is now the industry standard way to integrate a commerce platform with an ISV's SaaS and XaaS solution. It also means we have to support any path to market, whether that's for our service providers, our resellers, or other partners. Today we power, as Richard said, a hyperscale platform with uh, over 27 million seats and growing every day. Uh, and about 150 service providers around the world, many of these with over a million seats in their own marketplaces. But that's not enough, because I have to think about 100 million seats. I have to think about billions of accounts and subscriptions. And so that's where we talk about hyperscale. What happens when we launch IoT and we need to power that? Think of all those devices that are connected, all those subscriptions, all that revenue for our partners. Also, services and support, because great technology platform, all these great integrations with all of these great partners are only useful if you can actually take it to market. So working with our ISV partners to develop go-to-market materials, providing managed support services, professional support services, and uh, technical support services. APS technology comes in three flavors. Uh, first of all, the main part of APS is what we call the APS bus. That's the way our platform talks to uh, hundreds of ISVs, APIs, in a fully programmatic manner. We have APS Advanced. That's our SDK to build the complex connectors for the services you know and love. Um, this allows a very powerful mechanism to do fine-grained control, uh, things like delegated administration, automated subscription management, automated activation. APS Connect is a pass platform that allows our partners to actually develop their own connectors and self-onboard. In fact, it also supports a manual mode called APS Quick Start for those partners who do not yet have APIs. And we know you're all working on them. Uh, with that, we now take the development out of development. And in fact, product management and ISVs themselves can onboard themselves with these technologies. The key, though, is different folks fit in different roles, right, and how they want to go to market. Uh, some of you know about our cloud referral program that's been around for a while, that's in the US, and that's where Ingram will actually do the direct billing for you on Microsoft-based services. But later this year, we will introduce that on a global basis with all of our ISVs in a very powerful agent technology that we've built into our platform, where you'll have the option on various uh, sales opportunities to decide whether you want to own the billing relationship or have Ingram do that for you. Cloud Marketplace, many you know and love, you've been using for years, a powerful, broad platform that uh, we've been making huge investments in. In June, I'll be introducing version 7.4, which has over 90 new features. 90 features, that's a massive investment we've made to deliver things you've been waiting for, like spot pricing and so on. Cloud Premium, or should I call that Cloud Blue now, I think? Yeah, let me change the slide. So Cloud Blue, 
is uh, our platform for pass, both on dedicated and shared instances. So for our large customers who want a dedicated instance of their platform, deeply integrated to their data center and their back office applications, or for those who want it to run it for them on a shared multi-tenant, multi-hierarchical environment where we can still expose APIs to them. So with 7.4, we're introducing a full set of RESTful APIs to allow easy integration. To build a great platform, you have to cover all the bases. We have to start with a service catalog. This is where we bring in all of the different uh, vendors and capabilities to expose that into a marketplace. But later, we need to think more about that service catalog, because many of you have your own products or services that you want to sell along with it in that same marketplace. So developing the technology that allows you to create and publish in your marketplace your own services right along with those you consume from Ingram Micro. Subscription management, that's what it's all about. It's a recurring revenue business, so we want to help you empower all of the different types of subscription models and all the different business models that go with that. Of course, billing and invoicing, but it's not enough just for us to give you a system to bill your customers with. Most importantly is for us to make it easy for you to integrate to your existing billing systems. Maybe your QuickBooks, maybe it's SAP or something in between. So with our new set of RESTful APIs and our rated data export file, we have a very simple format for you to download in a CSV or XML or programmatically retrieve from an API call into your billing system. Provisioning, that's where the real technology is. That's the hard stuff. That's figuring out all the dials and knobs of an ISV's service and how their APIs expose that and building the integration between our platform, which you use, to the ISV's SaaS service. And so we get into fine-grained management and control with that. Of course, this is great, but we all need data. We need data to make decisions. We need data to run our business. We need to see how we're doing. So a full reporting and BI capability is critical. Of course, without channel enablement, we wouldn't be the world's largest distribution company. And so channel enablement that allows multi-hierarchical channels for those who have their own resellers and those who are resellers themselves, and also a presentation layer for the end customers and even the end users. That takes a powerful platform, so technologies to enable high availability, uh, global distribution, uh, notifications, logging, and a variety of technologies that are critical to, uh, to run a global hyperscale platform. This is kind of what it looks like. This is the plumbing slide. So we have customers of all types. We have customers who work from our marketplace and come in, place an order, or they may have their own cloud store where their customers order from them, and it's automatically transitioned through our system for us to do the fulfillment, message back, provide notifications, et cetera, to your customer on their activation. Some customers want to now work with us on a programmatic basis. Maybe they have their own e-commerce front end or their own digital marketplace that they've built, but they want to connect to our catalog and place orders via a RESTful API. That's now with 7.4. Also, we have our large telecoms and service providers around the world who don't really want to run their own technology anymore in the data center. It's hard to do. It's hard to maintain. And we have a great dedicated team of technical operations that run four major hubs around the world covering the globe. So we can do it for them now. And by exposing our RESTful APIs, they can integrate to their ERP systems, their identity management systems, their commerce platforms, and so on. Of course, without the vendors, where would we be? We'd have nothing to sell. So building the capability to automate the onboarding and management of our vendors is a key technology we've made huge investments in. This, was, this is based on what we call APS Connect, and it has things like cost management, cost rating, and all these different things we need to do the reconciliation for accounts payable, accounts receivable, and power that great catalog with all the business functions that make it fully automated. This is what hyperscale looks like. Don't be scared. On top, we have to integrate to a variety of different systems. In Ingram Micro, of course, we have ERP systems, we have CRM systems, but so do our customers. And when we integrate with them on an API programmatic basis, they want to leverage that. They don't want to replace those with something else. All of these different modules now are 
separate applications running on a microservice architecture. That means it's basically an avenue for these different modules to talk to each other. What does that let me do? It lets us release those modules independently to add new features quickly, and it also makes quality and operations faster. We uh, have modules for order management, catalog, provisioning, and a variety of different uh, functionalities. It also allows me to keep expanding in the future and add new capabilities, new modules as our, our business expands. A distributed architecture is critical for high availability, on-the-fly upgrades, and so having hyperscale, having microservices allows us to make sure things are always running for you just like a utility that you would expect to be on. Critical here is to make sure we always make our platform as smart as possible. That way the connectors to our ISVs can be as simple as possible. Right? We put the engineering, we put the features here, and that way we can connect to, connect to more and more ISVs. We're talking about looking at thousands of ISVs, including ones who are self-onboarding, through a new program we'll be launching called Digital OnRamp. Easy integration is critical. We talked about the RESTful APIs, but you need to have something called ETL, Export, transform, load. That's the way we get data from one system to another. We do that in our data center, but you need to do it with your systems too, whether that's something as simple as QuickBooks or an e-commerce front end. This takes what we call a DevSecOps mentality to run. Develop security operations. It means we look everything end to end before we do it. That's why we spend so much time in design, because we need to build and operate a platform at major scale. That means common processes, common coding languages, common tools when we're running a global organization with 11 offices in five countries. And again, all of that doesn't matter without the services, right? Helping you go to market, working with our ISVs and partnering to take their materials and translate that and put that into uh, tools that you can use with your customers or customize into your offers. It means premium customer support, whether you're using us for that or doing that yourself, but having the ability to do easy support for your customers. And it means other kinds of services, like managed services, uh, professional services, where we help you operate the platform, maybe build your product offers, maybe do the integration to your front end or back end systems. So these are the important things in the platform we've been building for you and investing hundreds of millions of dollars in. Over the next uh, year, you will see us continually evolve this platform into larger and larger capability. 7.5 is already in design, will be coming out in Q4 with a bunch of new features and more modules that are approaching this uh, uh, or supporting our hyperscale uh, capability.